Hello, anyone, anywhere, and at any time. Welcome back to Some Dude Plays Fire Emblem Three Houses Alliance Part 65. This is Zach of SomeDudePlays.com, just some dude who likes to play video games. So, in our last part, we finished off all of Byleth, uh, Byleth supports, except for the ones that aren't accessible right now, which we have quite a few of. But now it's time to go have some fun with the other ones. So let's do Cyril and Shamir's right away. Hey Shamir, how do you think I'm doing with my bow lately? Think I'm getting pretty good? Well, he's talking to the right person now of the Knights of Saros. I hit closer to the bullseye today, and that felt real good. You were fun. And that's pretty good praise for her since she's pretty straight to the point. Fine? That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me, Shamir. You take too many direct shots, though. Yeah, sometimes you have to lead the target. But it's easier if you shoot straight. Of course it is. But if you can hit your enemy with a straight shot, you're too close. I agree with that. Tell me, Cyril, what's an archer's greatest weakness? Oh, it's definitely cro close range, because if they're still using the bow when a guy gets too close, well, do they really have enough time to grab a dagger or a sword? Um... When we get too close to the enemy and we can't shoot the way we're supposed to? Exactly. As an archer, your position is critical. Know exactly how far the enemy is and keep a minimum safe distance. Understood? And if they start getting too close, switch your dang weapon. You mean to stay away from the enemies, but not too far away or my arrows can't hit them. So you understand why you can't rely on straight shots. You have to use curved shots as well. Never run up to your target. Hit them from a safe range. Very good advice. Shoot them from a safe range with curved shots. Archers should always control the battlefield. Okay, yeah, I get that. I'm gonna go practice some of those curved shots right now. You're not a bad student. If nothing else, you have the right attitude. You think so? Keep it up. I will. Yeah, very good advice, and they have a good mentor-student relationship there. And it's only going to get better. Now, Cyril and Lysithia. Hmm, this one ought to do. Uh, what are you doing, Cyril? I'm picking out logs to carry back and chop into firewood. You can't expect to carry all these by yourself. Let me help. Of course, he's always working. No, I got it. I don't want you getting hurt. Logs are heavy sometimes. I'm well aware. You should accept the help being offered. I'm older and wiser. I know best. You're the youngest student in the academy. You're not that much older or wiser. Um, Lysithia, you seem a bit shaky. You okay? And it's exactly as I thought. She's going to have trouble lifting them and she's going to drop and fall and get hurt. Totally fine. I'm just kind of losing my grip on this log. Duh! Well, that wasn't much help as it turned out. I didn't realize they'd be that heavy. I couldn't even walk in a straight line. That tells me you need to focus more on physical strength than you are with magic. I told you, logs are heavy sometimes. It's hard work if you're not used to it. I feel foolish. Well, if you've learned your lesson, I'm going to go carry the other locks. Hang on. Shouldn't you rest for a bit? Wood still needs chopping. I got a bunch of other stuff needs doing before sundown, too. In that case, let me help you carry the chopped wood. You know how rough firewood is? You'll get splinters if you carry it with your soft hands. Yeah, you want to wear gloves. Better grip, and you don't have to worry about getting splinters in your hands. <sighs> you can't be serious. You're just not cut out for this kind of work. Look at your hands. They're like a princess's. No point in you learning to chop wood, is there? You don't need to know how to do that stuff. Bad idea. Everyone should learn how to do that stuff. You never know when you'll need it. You and me live in different worlds. There's no point lowering yourself down into mine. Our worlds aren't so different. We're together right now, aren't we? Sure, we live in the same places now, but that's not going to last forever. Don't see how it could. Unless I actually turned into your little brother or something. 
like that's going to happen unless someone adopts them into the family. But there's that C support done, and now let's do Catherine and Lysithia. It was so sunny this morning, but now it's absolutely pouring. Yeah, and the background doesn't reflect that, but at least they're inside. Did you hear the thunder just now? Good thing we got all the clothes indoors before the skies opened up. I apologize for troubling you with this task. Don't worry about it. I was just passing by and thought I could help. Well, it's a good thing they got the help. I know how frustrating it is to have your newly dried clothes soaked by rain. Oh. What's wrong? We managed to keep all of the clothes dry, didn't we? It's just... odd. Every time it's my turn to wash the clothing, there's a sudden downpour. Surely it must just be an inconvenient coincidence, but I can't help feeling as though I'm somehow to blame for it. That's kind of strange that it's happening that constantly. Ah, I see. That probably is your fault. Wow, you're even harsher than I am. You have a crest of Karen, don't you? I do, yes, but... Hold on a moment. How did you know that? I can just tell. I have a crest of Karen, too. And I've noticed that, whenever I need dry weather, there's rain. <laughs> it happened doubly because Catherine was around. Don't you think it's our crests making the rain fall upon us? How had I never connected this? This is quite a revelation. A crest affecting the weather. <laughs> well, I don't know how true it is. There are only the two of us, which is a pretty small sample of people. That's better than nothing. If it happens to both of you, you're probably right. I suppose that's true. So, we must test our hypothesis. Hmm. Maybe we can find someone who tends to bring the sunshine around. That would be especially handy for helping out with the wash. Now there's an idea. Yeah. So, level C. And now her and Dimitri. Hey there. At it again, are we? It feels like I see you training here every day. It's my daily routine. I'm ill at ease until I've held a weapon in my grasp. <laughs> you said the same thing when you were little. And that kind of explains some of Dimitri's darkness, but some people just feel more relaxed like that. <laughs> right you are. I've been meaning to come and talk to you properly for a while now. I was about to say the same thing. How long has it been? A decade? More? That was in Ferdiad, as I recall. You were just a little pipsqueak. You really have grown up, haven't you? I'm not sure it was quite that long ago. Not really. But it matters not. I remember those times well. Particularly your first words to me. Look at that young maiden wielding a giant lance. How adorable. Oh, don't look at me like that. I was thrown off by your haircut, that's all. <laughs> it's all water under the bridge. Now, back then I was quite furious about it. My father did give me a stern reprimand for speaking so rudely to a prince. But then, I never had a chance to apologize. I was always getting into trouble back then, just like the incident in Dusker. Speaking of... Do you yep. ever think about going back to House Karen? Do you, Cassandra? No, I'm happy with the life I have. No offense, your highness, but I don't fight for king and country anymore. I fight for Lady Rhea. It doesn't bother you? Being labeled a criminal? Ah, so she's labeled a criminal to the kingdom of Fargus because uh, she's been from that, that one house. But because she's a uh, knight of Sero, she's protected. You're worried about my life as a fugitive from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Don't worry about me. I'm here because I want to be. It suits me far better than the life I'd otherwise lead as a noble lady of the kingdom. Is that so? I wonder what's really up with that background. How about you? You've never wanted to roam free? To enjoy life as an ordinary knight, unshackled from all those princely obligations. I can't say the thought has never crossed my mind. However, I am the son of a king. 
So he's out of luck and he has to reel. Plus, he'll probably be the best reel ruler they'll have. It's not possible for me to put my own desires before the good of the kingdom. Nah, you're too serious for your own good. Can't you become such a stiff? Don't worry, I've been working on that. Stretching is a part of my daily routine. <laughs> good, good answer, Dimitri. <laughs> if you can joke about it, there's hope for you yet. Alright, so now plane, and we'll finish her support with Sylvain and then go to Felix. Sylvain. Hi, why do you look so down? So Sylvain's definitely going to cheer her up. With his own issues, he's pretty good at that. But hey, if you're talking to me of your own accord, can I assume you've figured out I'm not a monster? I wanted to apologize about my treatment of you earlier, Sylvain. I am not normally one to put stock in such rumors. Nothing to be upset about. I mean, I've kind of earned that reputation. I've just... I've got this sickness. When I see a pretty girl, I can't stop myself from flirting with her. Well, at least he explains it, but the reputation is well earned. Like you, for instance. And once again, he takes it too far. Oh! I'm so sorry to hear of your illness. Perhaps my magic will help heal you. Not gonna happen. Huh? No, I didn't mean it like that. Basically, he has to grow up to get over it. No? Are you not ill then? You know what? Let's just... Let's move on. Can I take this to mean everything is good between us? Of course. Sylvain, I look forward to getting to know you without the falsity of rumors. Great. Would you like to celebrate our new friendship by joining me for a meal? You would treat me to a feast? <laughs> that is very kind of you. It doesn't mean in that way, Plain. A chance to spend time with a sweet girl like yourself? It's a pleasure. Sateth is hiding somewhere glaring daggers at him. Your voice like birdsong. Your eyes clear as diamonds. But above all, I'm drawn to your kind and loving heart. I am a captive to your charms, Flane. Wow. That was actually a good, uh... A good phrase. I hear that very frequently. Thank you. <laughs> and shot down because a lot of uh, boys probably hit on plane like that. Yeah, I... Uh, I guess a girl as cute as you would get a lot of compliments. Anyway, what type of meal were you considering, Sylvain? I would love some seafood followed by a delicious cake. She loves fish and sweets. Oh, I am absolutely famished, as I often am. Shall we be on our way? She's going to be so hungry, she's going to bankrupt him with all the food she eats. But he is a noble and a heir to a house, so that won't happen. <laughs> she's a tough one. Sheltered girls like her usually fall for that kind of stuff. <laughs> he failed. But she's much too savvy. Even for a smooth talker like myself. At least he knows when he's lost. There you go. So now her and Felix. And of course he's training again. Spectacular work, Felix! Why are you here? You're interrupting. Oh, uh, my apologies. I simply thought you were doing a great job. Just how sharp is that blade of yours, Felix? Do you imagine you might be able to cut something cleanly with it? Probably. Ah, wonderful! I have a special request for you, then. Oh, this is going to be interesting. You want me to cut this firewood? I do. I shall toss them one by one to you, and you shall make a sweeping blow to slice them. Oh, this is some very good training, because of course if you mess up you'll injure yourself, but it'll certainly test his sword skills. Sounds like a chore. I saw a knight do it once, so surely you can as well. Oh, she is devious to get out cut and fire what she's trying to convince Felix to do it as a part of training. Or perhaps you are worried that you are not capable. <laughs> she is good. What? I am more than capable. And she's playing on his mindset and skill with the blade. Right. Show me what you are made of. Here it comes. 
Doing them one by one is tedious. Just throw them all at once. Okay, he's either going to do something and fail miserably, or he's going to do something and be totally amazing at it. All of them? If you insist. Here we go! Wow, you truly are spectacular! Like I thought, he got done all at once. I know. You are undoubtedly the most revered woodcutter in all the land! <laughs> Plain, you just gave it away. So, should have said another saying, but you gave away. You just wanted him to do your chore for you. Now I am intrigued. Next time, let us try an even larger wood pile. Why did I agree to this? <laughs> Felix, Felix, Felix. And there we are. Almost done. So. We have Lysithia and Felix, and then whatever one with Bernie. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, so was she hiding in Devarin? Ah, so delicious. I'm so content in this moment. Ah, Felix! Lysithia. You look mortified. How long have you been there? Were you watching me? You were, weren't you? I was, yes. <sighs> For once, I thought I had some privacy. So what was she eating that she was trying so hard to hide? Did you say something? Huh? No. Didn't say anything at all. Here. What's this for? I'm buying your silence with cake. Take it. Okay, so that's what she did. She snatched a cake from the kitchen and tried eating it all herself. But Felix caught her, so she's trying to bribe him to not say anything about it by giving him a slice of cake. But the thing is, usually the cake is a lie. I'm not sure what to be silent about. If people knew I was shoveling cake into my face by the fistful, they'd think me nothing more than a child. You are, Lysithia. You are. Though so you are a bit mature because you did get into the... Uh... Got into the monastery for the academy early. Adults eat cake. You'll never understand. Just take this, will you? No, I don't like sweets. <laughs> Shut down. Does your refusal mean you'll be telling everyone about my cake shoveling ways? Felix doesn't even care about that. I just don't like sweets, that's all. Nonsense. Nobody can resist something so delicious. A diabetic can. Look, I'm giving you this cake whether you like it or not. Eat it, toss it, throw it at an unsuspecting victim. The choice is yours. If I was Felix, I'd surprise and throw it at Dimitri just for the heck of it. Just please don't mention this to anyone. What was her problem? And what am I supposed to do with this cake? And like I thought, Felix, you have horrible, horrible social skills. Hey. Yeah, the only one I can do is Bernie and Felix. You. I do. She's still scared of him. Am I in your way? I'm in your way. I know I get it. I'm sorry. I, I can't stand the sight of me either. I never said that. Stay right there. You're always running away. You must really find me irritating. <laughs> irritating? I know. I completely... What? N no. I mean, I know I'm irritating, but... Huh? Nice one, Felix. Just got her to finally stop and think. Stop. Do you remember when you came up behind me and knocked the sword from my hands? I need you to teach me that technique. Sword? Teach? Yeah, she surprised the heck out of him and got the sword out of his hand, so he wants to learn that move now. Technique? That's, um, that's a joke, right? Because that's, 
That's just about the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Maybe so, but I saw you do it. <sighs> you don't remember? You moved like a flash, and before I knew it... Nope, wasn't Bernie. He must have dreamed it. <laughs> Bernie denying everything because she's so afraid. Unless my accuser dares to produce some evidence. Yes, evidence. I still have your satchel, see? <laughs> Good one, Felix. Good one. Oh, my satchel. Wait, that? No, that's, um, that's not mine. You can't prove it's mine. You know it's yours. I'm innocent, I swear. Merciful Ciro, save me. This is getting nowhere. But, hmm, maybe I should corner her like last time. Then she'll use the technique without thinking. Felix, she said that out loud. <laughs> and Bernie's still scared. Never mind, I'm done here. All I'll say is Bernadette is very adorable. Lies! All lies! I didn't do any... Uh-huh. <laughs> he really got her again. Well, where'd he go? The A supports for them is going to be awesome. Okay, so... Ports. I left. So I still have to do these supports for all those characters if I want to recruit them. So Hilda, Marianne, Ignaz. So what I'm going to do is I'm um, going to end the video here. And when we come back, we'll be at the um, on Tuesday, 11, 25th of Red Wolf. Tuesday, the 25th of Red Wolf Moon. To start the end mission, but all that i'm gonna get started and set up the b support so have a great day everyone and please remember to if you like the video like subscribe comment hit the notification bell visit simdudeplays.com and i will see you all later